So we want the argument i z, so we go back to here. There's the real z, there's the imaginary z, the usual stuff that we don't want to sign it out. And I go, let's pick any point. Ready? Bend, bend, bend. So we want it to be less than or equal to pi and 4. We could put a number, we could put a line there and say there's pi and 4. And my brain's going, is this the best way to explain what I'm wrong? Ready? If I pick a point there, and I put it into z, what happens when I multiply that point by y? It rotates where? So I don't even have to do the numbers right. This is just a common sense approach. Rotates around the end. Let's get another one. Get another point so there, put across there. Rotate 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Goes around to there. We said we want less than pi and four. So would that point satisfy less than pi and four? No, because it goes around to here. Would that point satisfy pi and four? No, because it goes around to there. What about this one here? So if I need to put all those different symbols, let's put a little, put a little box there, okay? So that one there would rotate around to, rotate there somewhere, yeah? Would that satisfy the condition? Yes. When is the critical points that cut off? What marks us up? If I come back to here, this line here, it's terrible, it'll do. Pi and four with a minus pi and four, you okay? What happens, any point on there will rotate 90 degrees, say there, or rotate around to there, and that one will rotate around to there. Will those points satisfy the condition? What about that one? No. So we're talking about less than there, that's all the question is talking about. And please, I do forget someone to put the circle on. That big one, Josh, Joshy, Josh, need you to see this one for a second. What happens to that point, say there? Yeah, so it goes into there. That's, that's, that's literally what I just said. Yeah. So principal arguments all the way around to there. So at an angle, a point here will rotate 90 degrees anti-clockwise and end up over, over there. So those points satisfy the condition as well. So we're going to shade it all the way back around to here. Where do I put my dotted line for not included? It would have been there. But because we're going to rotate 90 degrees, all of those are going to come around to there. So that's our dotted line there. And here's the answer to the question. So I think I need to go, well, here's minus pi. What do I say to this one over here? To make my question perfectly clear. So if I talk angles, there's minus 180. So what's this one here? Ethan, you're right. So it's going to minus 90. Minus 180, minus 2. Six. Seven. Okay, six. But you're still thinking about the concept, not about the numbers I'm asking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me numbers for a second. So there's pi on 2. Minus pi on 2. That's right in the top of it. There's minus pi. So there's minus 3 pi on 2. So when you're, when you're talking about i, it can, it can go... I'm not trying to say this. But you know how normally you just talk about positive and negative? When it's principal argument, you can when when you say that's uh, positive ninety degrees and upwards. That makes people's brain up. That's another way I was, put, I was picturing in my head about explaining this. Let's get the point nice by here. Let's go minus one. And say minus one and five. Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to let's actually label it minus one and five. Let's back to I'm actually going to talk about that. We're going back to substitution. I want the argument of i times by what? Minus 1 plus pi i. Square brackets, maybe it'll be a bit fussy. Let's see what we get. What do we get for that one? So I've got, now I've got the argument of, I'll leave square brackets. Minus i plus 5i squared. Let's go through. And that, that's an i squared, isn't it? i squared. So what have I got now? I'm going to go slow. So that becomes minus 5. Yeah. So really, my fussy brain would go minus 5, minus i. So what's happening? What's happened to that point? It's rotated 90 degrees. We know it's rotated 90 degrees, but let's actually mark it as minus 5, minus i. 2, 3, 4, 5, minus i just there. 
At that point now, is that within the principal argument? Yes. So the condition of what you're going to apply to the question will override and go back outside of the principal argument because you're going to then bring it back. Yeah. Yeah.